What initially attracted you to the role of Flavius? Honestly, um, I was thinking about that yesterday when I was uh, back in LA. I remember when I when I heard about the audition, I didn't know about the Hunger Games. Uh -huh. Because it was also secretive as right? far as oh, like the casting absolutely. and all that. So when my manager called me up, she was just, um, you have an audition? And I'm like, oh, okay, just another audition. Yeah. So I went and auditioned and uh, again, um, it's just uh, very interesting how they handled that because, you know, they were constantly working on the script. Right. So they gave me some audition sides, you know, and uh, just, uh, I went in, auditioned, I had to do a few times and that was it. I'm like, okay, that's done. I'll never hear from them. <laughs> Um, Cut to three did they have later. you, what specific thing did they have you? You know what, I, I did look it up. I'm very obsessive when it comes to the internet and research. Yeah. So I'm big on research um, with anything which is good for an actor. Right. So as soon as I said Flavius, Hunger Games, I immediately looked it up and all this stuff came up. Yeah. It was insane. I'm like, oh my god, what is this? Uh, and then I looked up Flavius, and at the time all they had were like sort of animated pictures right. from the book. Yeah, this a lot goofy of ones artwork the, and yeah, artwork crazy. And, and, and that kind of stuff. And I'm like, so I know the breakdowns of something haute couture, and I'm like, I mean, I think I'm a kind of fashionable, trendy guy, yeah. but not like that. So I was like, what does that mean? So then I looked up, you totally know, Jean-Paul Gaultier and all this stuff. I'm like, okay, so put on a jacket, <laughs> this like black shirt and ascot, and I... At the time, my hair was longer, so I put yeah. it really, awesome. I made it really high, and I just went in and did it. And so at that point, did you have a clue? So you kind of researched and you saw that yeah. it was becoming pretty popular. So you're like, okay. I, I assumed it was going to be a big film, but I didn't yeah. know it was going to be this huge right. like Twilight phenomenon. Well, made kind of a lot thing. of, you know, it was very secretive. Yeah. Just with the name. Yeah, know, it was hard to get information, and they're still like that. And I think that's what's so brilliant about their marketing. Yeah. Yeah, um, any memorable moments on set that you can look um, at? Yes. There was a scene oh, where it was kind of funny. It's a little gross. It's just like it takes away and demystifies the whole glamour of the movie industry. Uh -huh. So we were doing that chariot scene right before, you know, they go off in the chariot. So it was Jennifer, Josh. I'm behind um, Lynn Kravitz who's playing Sina, so it's like walking down to meet them. In the movie it's really quick, you meet right. them, you know, and they're all dressed in that black stuff right before they go on the chariot. And there were a lot of horses and chariots there, and I was like, what is this? Uh -huh. <laughs> the horses, have oh. you ever been around horses? Yeah, oh I have. Oh you have? Yeah. So you know how strong that smell is. Oh yeah. It was so strong, so the smell, because one of them was urinating, and you're like, whoa, <laughs> it was like, okay, cut. Yeah. Let's step away. <laughs> <laughs> right. Major cause, and we had to take a break. So it was yeah. kind of funny. That other than that, um, God, there were so many great moments. You know, a lot of great people. Yeah. You know, amazing cast. Amazing, amazing cast, cast, and just wonderful people. Just to be feet away from, you know, Jennifer Lawrence yeah. and um, Lenny Kravitz is just a, such a nice guy. Cool. Yeah, know? I've and heard that. It's that like everyone's I, a rock star, and that. everyone acts like a person, and just really, it was just a welcoming thing because. You go into something like that, and you're a little intimidated, at least for me. Right. You know, but oh, I everyone, can't even imagine. But Just, everyone's like so extremely professional. Right. Okay. Um, hair and makeup process. How long did that take? Um, that was, was interesting. It crazy? How well, the book has me in sort of a Ronald McDonald little <laughs> orange little thing. Yeah. And I think they were kind of going back and um, forth about making it um, based in reality, just keeping it real. Yeah. You know. Um, Not too over the top, so right. it's more they real. Right. They wanted to, you know, stick to the books as much as they could, you know, of course, and, um, <clears throat> but they wanted to make it uh, realistic in a sense that you were going to another world, but it was like sort of like believable that you were stepping into this world and the people look somewhat believable, even though mm -hmm. somewhat altered. So yeah, that whole process just for my Mohawk took probably about a week between wow. Linda, um, the head slide, Sweet. I, I believe I met her. Linda, I really sweet brunette. DVD she was with Ju uh, Judiana, who did the costumes. Okay, yeah. I met one of them. Yeah. So. Long, long yeah, chair? long okay. chair. Um, that process oh, took awesome. about a week because they had little pieces that were trying on, just trying to get the right feel. Yeah. And at the time, I had longer hair, yeah. so they asked, "Can we cut it?" I said, "Yeah, cut it. Just leave me something up here." So they cut the side. They left. 
this all they off put and they in blend anything? yeah they put away oh, and they okay. blended my own hair into it <laughs> oh, cool. so then they came up with that sort of mohawk yeah, thing yeah like a bouffant almost kind of but it was a mohawk and it wasn't as cartoony right. maybe just yeah. like a little thing it looked great but Gary Ross would come in and out of the trailers to check on things so he was pretty he was very hands on, on yeah. absolutely to say uh, yes no 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 I mean right. um, he did a great job as far as like keeping it sort of all very consistent yeah so working with him was pretty um, yeah awesome. I mean yeah you're working with the, 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 the experience the in best. itself. <laughs> yeah, an experience in itself. He's just, just stand there and he listen. He knows what he's doing. It was great. Um, anything that you filmed that was cut from the final? Um, well, yeah, I mean, there's always things there. You know, the chariot scene, always scenes when you're filming. It's like it took us eight hours to yeah. film and then oh, maybe yeah. it's two seconds. Uh -huh. Things like that. Okay, you know? yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Okay, you were already an established actor before being cast. Being involved in this franchise, um, anything drastically different just within your other experiences, you know, other things you've worked on, just, you know, to compare the two? Um, this one definitely feels like it's going to have more longevity, mm -hmm. in a sense. And right. it's something that I'm kind of, I don't want to say locked into, but it's nice to know that I'm going to be part of this right. game it's for exciting. a while. So it's very exciting, and you're constantly meeting really, really great people, yeah. and you have no idea where it's going to take you. Like, I have no idea about filming, about location, right. or anything that will tell us, so it's all kind of like, all right, right. Yeah. what's going on yeah, next? Yeah, what's going to happen? Um, anything, just personally, like in your life, how has this changed anything in your life? Um, how has it changed? Well, people keep asking that. You know, I'm not Jennifer Lawrence. I'm not a beautiful 21-year-old girl, so, you know, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm the old guy. <laughs> oh, whatever. No. no, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's, it's uh, it hasn't really changed that much. I mean, it feels good to be part of that. Yeah. Um, it's nice to have that in your pocket. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's little things, meeting people like of. you, having yeah. people approach me. I've had, like, some random people just based on, you know, what I saw in the movie, a small part, just uh, say, you want to be in my movie or something? Yeah. Or somebody called me randomly to be in a play, which I'll be doing. It's a great uh, comedy in, something else in I LA. Want to ask you at yeah. Other projects going yeah. on. And so those little things are kind of trickling in. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, just a couple of things like that have been awesome. happening. So it's good.